Hello, this is Dr. Do again. This video is outside of medicine. Continue with viewing history through reading. I'm going to continue to read from a previous video. I'm going to read it. Very well, Rachel said. He can sleep with you tonight in return for your son's man's mandrakes. So when Jacob came in from the fields that evening, Leah went out to meet him. You must sleep with me, she said. I have hired you with my son's mandrakes. So he slept with her that night. God listened to Leah, and she became pregnant, and bore Jacob a fifth son. Then Leah said, God has rewarded me for giving my maidservant to my husband. So she named him Isaac. Leah conceived again and bore Jacob a sixth son. Then Leah said, God has presented me with a precious gift. This time my husband will treat me with honor, because I have borne him six sons. So she named him Zebulon. Sometime later she gave birth to the daughter and named her Dinah. Then God remembered Rachel. He listened to her and opened her womb, and she became pregnant and gave birth to a son, and said, God has taken away my disgrace. She named him Joseph and said, May the Lord add to me another son. Jacob's flocks increase. After Rachel gave birth to Joseph, Jacob said to Laban, Send me on my way so I can go back to my own homeland. Give me my wives and children for whom I have served you, and I will be on my way. You know how much work I've done for you. But Laban said to him, If I have found favor in your eyes, please stay. I have learned by divination that the Lord has blessed me because of you. He added, Name your wages and I will pay them. Jacob said to him, You know how I have worked for you and how your livestock has fired under my care. The little you had before I came has increased greatly, and the Lord has blessed you wherever I have been. But now, when may I do something for my own household? What should I give you? he asked. Don't give me anything, Jacob replied. But if you will do this one thing for me, I will go on tending your flocks and watching over them. Let me go through all your flocks today and remove from them every speckled or spotted sheep every dark-colored lamb, and every spotted or speckled goat. They will be my wages, and my honesty will testify for me in the future. Whenever you check on the wages you have paid me, any goat in my possession that is not speckled or spotted, or any lamb that is not dark-colored, will be considered stolen. Agreed, said Laban. Let it be as you have said. That same day he removed all the male goats that were streaked or spotted, and all the speckled or spotted female goats, all that had white on them, and all the dark-colored lambs, and he placed them in the care of his sons. Then he put a three-day journey between himself and Jacob. While Jacob continued to tend the rest of the Laban's flocks, Jacob, however, took fresh-cut branches from popular almond and plain trees and made white stripes on them by peeling the bark and exposing the white inner wood of the branches. Then he placed the peeled branches in all the watering troughs, so that they would be directly in front of the flocks 
when they came to drink. When the flocks were in the heat and came to drink, they mated in front of the branches, and they bore young that were streaked or speckled or spotted. Jacob set apart the young of the flock by themselves, but made the rest of face the streaked and dark-colored animals that belonged to Laban. Thus he made separate flocks for himself and did not put them with Laban's animals. Whenever the stronger female were in heat, Jacob would place the branches in the troughs in front of the animals, so they would mate near the branches. But if the animals were weak, he would not place them there. So the weak animals went to Laban and the strong ones to Jacob. In this way, the man grew exceedingly, exceedingly prosperous and came to own large flocks and made servants and men servants and camels and donkeys. Jacob flees from Laban, chapter 31. Jacob heard that Laban's son was saying, Jacob has taken everything our father owned and has gained all this wealth from what belonged to our father. And Jacob noticed that Laban's attitude so toward him was not what it had been. Then the Lord said to Jacob, Go back to the land of your fathers and to your relatives, and I will be with you. So Jacob sent word to Rachel and Leah to come out to the fields where his flocks were. He said to them, I see that your father's attitude toward me is not what it was before. But the God of my father has been with me. You know that I worked for your father with all my strength. Yet your father has cheated me by changing my wages ten times. However, God has not allowed him to harm me. If he said, The speckled ones will be your wages, then all the flocks gave birth to speckled young. And if he said, The strict ones will be your wages, then all the flocks bore strict young. So God has taken away your father's livestock and has given them to me. In breeding season, I once had a dream in which I looked up and saw that the male goats mating with the flocks were streaked and speckled or spotted. The angel of God said to me in the dream, Jacob, I answered, here I am. And he said, look up and see that all the male goats Mating with the flocks are strict, speckled or spotted, for I have seen all that Laban has been doing to you. I am the God of Bethel, where you anointed a pillar and where you made a vow to me. Now leave this land at once and go back to your native land. So I'm going to stop here and continue next time. Thank you for watching.